I'm thinking about both content and email marketing, just that whole sort of marketing piece, I, I try to think about how I buy. So think about your own buyer behavior, you know, about how you research things and what you're looking for. So, you know, it's the cliche to put, your, put yourself in your buyer's shoes and think about how they're going to uh, see what you send them. And that'll, that'll help you be kind of more focused and more authentic with what you do. Given the way uh, sales, the kind of the sales process has shifted in the last 10 years, where you're uh, trying to establish yourself as a trusted advisor, as a coach uh, to the prospect, content's very important. And uh, content needs to be authentic. So content has to be actual information uh, from experts in the area you're selling into that your prospects are going to want to read or consume. Uh, often this means uh, you need to write it yourself. Uh, you, can, you can hire folks to do uh, white papers and things for you, and they'll do a good job, but they, they just don't feel real. They don't feel true. And I've used a lot of them over the years, and they're good folk, but, but uh, people can tell right away that the, the white paper is written by somebody who really knows the, the industry or the vertical. Uh, the other thing about content is you want to use it as many ways as you can. So the rule of thumb is you want to use it three times. So maybe it's published as a white paper, it's broken up as blog posts, and then it's done as a webinar. Uh, and uh, thirdly, when you're emailing or using this content to email, you probably can't hit your contacts more than once every three weeks. Four is good. Uh, more than every three weeks, you're just going to annoy them. So you want to be very conscious of the fact that I'm delivering you, Mr. Prospect, authentic content that's going to help you with your business.